Welcome to the Bentex 7X Handrail Module Tutorial. Here you will learn how to create your railing design around a user constructed mock up setting. This tutorial includes the creation of walls, stairs, platforms, and of course the railing itself. Start by opening the Bentex software to the task menu screen as seen here. Then select the railing icon from the list. From here, maximize the screen and select the die and material from the drop down menus to the top left. Now, using the wheel on your mouse, zoom away from the TriStar until it is very small on your screen, but still visible. Then select the Walls tab to create a customized wall by clicking the blue New button. The Create New Wall window will appear. Here, you can type in the height, length, and width, change the rotation of the wall, flip the wall so the cursor is anchored to the other side, or enter an offset amount for the railing that will be attached to the wall. For our purposes, we'll create the first wall with its default values, so click OK and set the wall to the TriStar. Then, when you've brought the wall into view a little more, select the blue New button once more. This time, change the rotation to the front right position and check the Flip Wall checkbox. Then click OK. Now, place the new wall on the right side of the far end of the first wall as seen here. Then, select the Steps tab to create a series of steps to add to the design. Now, click on the blue New button and the Create New Steps window will appear. From here, you can change the number of treads, width, tread width, and riser height, along with the ability to rotate and flip the steps. Leave the values as they are and simply select the Flip Steps checkbox and the OK button. Now, place the steps at the front end of the first wall as seen here. Then, go to the Platforms tab to create platforms containing any dimensions. Click on the blue New button. The Create New Platform window will appear. Here, you can type in the height, length, and width of the platform, or change the rotation, or flip the platform. So type in 105 into the Length Value field, flip the platform, and click the OK button. Then place the platform at the top of the steps, as seen here. Next, select the New Platform button again, and type 102 into the Length field this time. Then rotate the part to the front right, check the Flip Platform checkbox, and click OK. Place the platform adjacent to the other one, as seen here. Now we'll create some pick points along the walls before setting up our railing. So go to the Pick Points tab, click the Set Reference button, and type 36 into the ceiling field. Then select the points here at the base of the steps and apply. Then the top of the steps and apply. Then the intersection of the walls, apply. Then finally, shift-click the end of the far wall as a way to apply the point without clicking the Apply button. Afterward, go to the Part tab to begin drawing the railing. Now, select the New Section button and click the Constrain to Wall checkbox. You will normally have to select the wall you will be working on by selecting the Active Wall button followed by that wall, but ours is already selected. So select the pick points like this to draw the part that is constrained to this wall. Before finishing the railing, select the Active Wall button and change it to the second wall. Then, click the New Section button and finish the railing on this new plane as seen here. Now, select the Return button and the Create Return window will appear. Keep the wall option selected under the return type and select the OK button. Then click on the far right section of the railing. The railing will be returned to the wall as seen here. Now select the return button again, check the floor option this time, and select the OK button. Then click on the far left section of the railing to place the return.
The bending instructions will be located at the top of the screen as seen here. These can be printed by clicking the print button here. Now, you can go to the part details tab up above and select the bend order button to see a bending simulation of the part going through your bender. From here, you can change the bending order, adjust settings, and control the start and stop of the simulation. Thank you for participating in our 7x handrail module tutorial. For more helpful and informational videos, subscribe here and like us on Facebook.